So then, Sam, why on earth? <laughs> oh, yes, why on earth indeed. It's genuinely steep. Yeah, it's ridiculously it's... steep. It's, a, it's a near enough a vertical drop. Yes, it's a grassy cliff face. And I'm slightly concerned about it. I, I, I'll be honest. Would you believe it? Along this busy road, we've just spotted an entire family of wild boar. There's the mother, the sow. Now, she's got five or six little humbugs with her. This is incredible. They've brought the entire busy road to a standstill. Uh, I've, I've never actually seen a wild boar before, and uh, now I'm watching an entire family cross the road. When I get back, Steve is struggling because of the cold. Uh, you, you need to cover yourself up, my friend. That's like properly... Yeah, I'm OK. Tell me about your old life, Steve. What was that like? It was OK to start off with, but I married and had kids. You, had, you were married, were you? Yeah. How long were you married for? Ten years. Really? Do your kids keep in touch? No. No? Never see my kids. Do they no. know you're here? No. Steve, I don't know how you do this. It's, it's oh. seriously, seriously cold. I'm not too bad now. Now I'm inside this sleeping bag and all that. I feel good. feels like it's, I'm living back in the house again. I'm nice and warm <laughs> in my bed. Is that how you picture it? Yeah. We've repeatedly contacted Jason Lyon to ask him exactly where the driver's money is, but he's never replied, so we've tracked him down. He's the chairman of Abingdon Town Football Club near Oxford, and I know he's here today. So I'm going to go and find him and ask him exactly where the driver's money is. Jason? We soon spot Jason Seth Lyon. From BBC TV. Can you tell me where the money is, Jason? But his buggy is in better nick than some of his fans. And he's off. Jason? Could you come and talk to us? Well, uh, we tried to get some answers out of him, but uh, he's in no need to speak to us. But a few minutes later, he comes back and he's upgraded his mode of transport. Jason, will you talk to me? Will you talk to me on camera? Oh, OK. You talk to me. OK. No, I will talk to you. Yes. I'm not talking to camera. Well, I just want to find out, Jason, what happened with the money. Welcome to BBC Points West with Seb Chowdhury and Alex Love. Good evening. There's been shock in Taunton tonight that Norton Manor Camp is one of the five military bases in the West to close. The others are Beachley Barracks at the bottom of the Forest of Dean. Let's talk about these thousand jobs then. That thousand jobs, is that the realistic figure or is that an exaggeration? Exag well, no, we wouldn't exaggerate news of such magnitude for the Bristol. I mean, it's very, very significant. I'm we, saying we, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't throw a hand grenade into the No, Bristol's Marvin, I'm like saying that. an exaggeration because a thousand jobs sounds like yeah. a lot of jobs is, which can affect services as the unions are warning. So let's say a thousand people don't come forward. Mm. What are you going to do then? For people from an ethnic minority background like me and my family, finding yourself in a situation where you need an organ transplant can sometimes feel like a death sentence. So Jack, I'm going to show you my artwork. I'd love to see it. OK. I'm just going to carry on with this beard. My style is a little more abstract than Jack's, but he seemed genuinely impressed. In fact, the next time I visit his gallery, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see my sketch of Grace hanging alongside his own. <laughs> I think the art is putting fins on when you're in the water. Wow, I like to be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of water in my lungs right <laughs> There's no floor. <laughs> Come here. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come so on. I want to turn her into a star and see if we can make some cash. 
To get going, I'm setting Spanky up with her own Instagram account and thought we could get a few pictures. Come on, come on, come on. Ready? Good. Almost there. But it turns out it's not as easy as it no. looks. You're better than this. Oh, yes. After a <coughs> few attempts, we manage a photo that I'm sure will win her plenty of followers. That's actually not that you want. <laughs> It's the second men's race. My turn. And after everything I've seen, I'm absolutely bricking it. Why in the world did I agree to do this? Want to be ready? 